toe the line of constitutional provisions and kickstart the 2022 fiscal year. The council chairman of our more Dolphin local government area, Valentine Braimo, has presented the 2022 budget estimate to the legislature for consideration and approval. The exercise was witnessed by stakeholders, traditional rulers, and the management team. Speaking at the presentation, the council chairman said the content of the bill aims at building on the achievements of his administration's first tenure, assuring that all sectors of the economy will receive massive boosts. Today's tradition is symbolic. It is the tradition of a budget proposal for our first full year in governance for the second tenure of administration under my own leadership as executive chairman. Our vision and purpose is clear, very, very clear, to propose a working document that is geared towards sustainability of existing accomplishments. Distinguished leaders and members of this Honorable House, it is my pleasure to present the year 2022 budget proposal. Christine's budget of sustainability. Honorable leader and district members of this noble house, we believe with, with hard work and commitment from all stakeholders, we shall perform well, very well with measurable proof of performance with our projects and programs spread across the seven months of our local government so as to bring development and governance closer to the people. A budget estimate of three billion four hundred and forty two million three hundred and twenty two thousand one hundred and twenty two naira eighty eight cabo was presented to the legislative ham for consideration and approval. The leader of the house, Kiki Emanu, said the inspection process will begin in earnest, adding that once the bill passes due scrutiny, it will be ratified. In the next few days we are going to have our sitting, our sitting sitting and we are going to go through the Budget, scrutinize budget, and do the necessary things before the approval. The budget received for today is very fantastic. And we thank Almighty God, the chairman of Amuod of the local government, engineer Dr. Valentai Oluashi Ibrahim, is performing wonderful. Only the first time of tenor, he do well. And we thank Almighty Allah for now. Where they, where they, see, what, they see what we have done in the past. And like I said in my speech, they trusted us. And like I said, we will not relent. Based on the trust they have trusted us, we will not relent. And for us to achieve more and more in the area of infrastructure and I mean, other social amenities. Once the budget is passed into law, the more Dauphin populace can look forward to another year of development in our sectors. In another development, the council chairman of Amuwa Dauphin Valentine Brimo, in a bid to ensure effective and efficient discharge of duties, presented seven laptops to councillors of the legislative chamber. The councillors were appreciative of the gesture. It's to enhance them to uh, be able to do their job diligently and also to, uh, also that, that, to make them more, uh, uh, more developed in their, their ICT. And you know the world is going to be the way of ICT now, so they can develop themselves individually and collectively so that with all Activities of, of the council the department can be on record, can be documented in their laptop for future references and for achievements during their own time as the council, uh, council representing their various words. This will serve as a morale booster for one more of the LG workforce. <music>